Hi there, Janko Rutgers here from Cord Cutters, the show that's all about watching all the TV you want without paying for an expensive pay TV subscription. And on this episode, we're going to take a closer look at the Roku 2, brand new device that just came out from Roku. They essentially overhauled their whole line of hardware devices. Uh, this is it. This is the Roku 2 XS. It's the most expensive one. Uh, only 100 bucks, so it's not really that expensive, but they also have an $80 device and a $60 device, kind of the same price range that they had before. Now, for $100, you get a new remote control that's kind of interesting because it has, uh, it essentially works a little bit like a Wii remote. It can essentially uh, detect your motion, and that's used for casual gaming. We get to that a little bit later. Let's talk a little bit about the hardware differences uh, before. So the $80 device, Basically, you don't get this remote control, and you're also missing one other important feature, and that is the Ethernet port. So uh, the $80 device and the $60 device only do Wi-Fi streaming, no hardwired streaming, which can be a downside, especially if you have dif difficulties in your apartment or in your house with streaming. Um, and then the last difference, the $60 device only does 720p. For $80, $100, you get 1080p. Now, the two big differences, I have it hooked up here already to the, to the screen, and you see it kind of looks pretty much like Roku looked before. The color scheme is a little changed. It's a little darker now. Looks maybe a little nicer than before, but essentially it's the same model. You, screen, you scroll sideways here through stuff and it has the same kind of apps. It has Netflix again, Hulu Plus, and about 300 total uh, choices of content for you available. And there's two main differences, essentially, to the previous generation of devices. One is for Netflix, which is the biggest reason that many people buy the Roku device. Netflix now supports, for some of their titles, 1080p streaming and subtitles and Dolby surround sound. And all of this is supported on the new Roku devices, 1080p streaming anyway on the high-end class. Uh, on the older Roku devices, you won't get any of this stuff. It's still the plain old Netflix there. So if you want to take a look at that right now to see how this looks like in practice, I'm going to fire up Netflix here. And we're going to find, we're going to try to find a movie that has subtitles. Netflix has about 30% of its overall total catalog is available, I think, at this point, uh, subtitled. But they're working on improving that, increasing that. And one of the t titles that actually does have subtitles is uh, The Fighter. So if you do want to play subtitles in a movie, you go into the setting, you turn subtitles on, there's English language as the main option, and then you play the movie, it loads up, so of course takes you a second. And once the movie displays, it's going to show you the subtitles. And then if this is not 1080p, but some uh, subset of the Netflix catalog is now available in 1080p, and with these devices, this also comes to Roku. The other big feature is uh, casual gaming. I mentioned this before, the remote control can be used like a Wii game controller now. And uh, the biggest title in that area is Angry Birds, of course, and Angry Birds is now on the Roku. So let's take a look at that as well. Now, uh, it's loaded up here, and you can see there is uh, this hand and new feature for the Roku remote control. I can actually follow this here. This is me doing circles, and now I can play and uh, show everybody how bad I am at casual gaming. So here I can select my level, it's kind of very similar to how Angry Bird looks like on a web or if you have a tablet, if you have an app on your iPad or your Android tablet, it just looks like that. And uh, takes a little bit of loading time, of course. And uh, Roku wants to eventually also have other titles available and some of them are going to be for sale, obviously. Um, but now I can press my OK button, I can stretch this and shoot and there we go. That's basically Angry Birds on the Roku, and it also shows off a little bit of the capabilities that this remote control has. So this was the first look at the Roku 2 here at Card Colors, and we would like to hear from you. Are you going to, out to buy this device? Is casual gaming important to you, or do you not care? We would love to hear from you, so send us your thoughts and your comments to cardcutters at gigaom.com. You can also get in touch with us on Twitter. We are at cardcutters, or you can always go to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash cardcutters, and uh, get in touch with us there and also talk within the community. And so have some fun, uh, cut some cords, and I'm going to go now and improve my Angry Birds skills.